everyone, how are you? It's Leah Cost with the Mortgage Center. There's a new issue um, in the real estate industry right now, and a lot of you are going to be affected. A lot of you won't know the difference, uh, but it's important for everyone to know. Uh, realtors, definitely listen up to this. There has been um, a new change in insurance policy, and yes, I know there was a whole bunch that changed on uh, the 9th of last month, but there's a new one, and it's one that hasn't really been heavily broadcasted, and it has to do with duplexes or fourplexes, you know, old homes in Vancouver that have been converted from the big mansions that they are into four units. They've been stratified so they can be sold off separately, um, but this is really affecting those as well as duplexes. If they are stratified, so if you currently live in one of these, or if you're a realtor trying to sell one of these, or you're someone trying to buy one of these, listen up, because it won't get insured, um, which means you can't get a mortgage unless you put more than 20% down. Why? Because one bad apple ruined the bunch, but here's the gist of, of the situation that mortgage insurers, and even lenders, even if you put more than 20% down, you still not might not be able to get it done. Take this situation, you've got a duplex, it's just you and your neighbor. According to the Strata Act, you have to, as a stratified unit, have minutes, a contingency fund, and a few other you know, strata things. But those are the two main big ones. The contingency fund is something that you pay into every month with your strata fees, and this pays to repair anything uh, that affects the structure of the, the unit. Um, then you have the minutes so that anyone looking to buy this unit can understand, oh, we had a complaint in the past about the electrical or it was a leaky condo before. And it basically records anything that was ever wrong with the property so that, you know, onlookers who are looking to purchase have all the information. Well, if it's you and the dude next door, it's very unlikely you guys are going to sit down and arrange to meet on a monthly basis uh, to discuss problems and issues. It's very unlikely as well that you're going to put money aside into a contingency fund because that's money out of your pocket that's sitting there doing nothing. So, because of that, as a stratified unit, you are going directly against the Strata Act and there's potential for um, just negative situations that can happen that mortgage lenders and mortgage insurers don't want to be a part of. To give you an example of where this can arise, you have a duplex, you share a common roof. One side of the duplex gets a leak, the other side doesn't. The side with the leak, the guy goes to the other guy, hey, fork up, we need a new roof. The guy without the leak says, not my problem, it's on your side. Arguments happen. No money happens. No repairs happen. The um, quality of the home goes down, it starts to deteriorate because it doesn't get fixed. Um, or the person goes into foreclosure next door because they have to fork out the money to fix the roof, otherwise they lose their invest in, investment, but now they can't afford their mortgage payments and things start to happen from there. Banks don't want that to happen. Mortgage insurers find that to be a high risk of likelihood to happen, uh, so therefore they're not insuring it. So, long story short, it's a really difficult situation to uh, get into. If you're looking to buy or looking to sell, you need to be aware of this. Start getting your strata minutes done. Take a look at the Strata Act. Get your contingency fund in place. It'll make life a lot easier for you. All right, so if you have any other questions, give me a call. Leah Cross with the Mortgage Center. My contact info is somewhere on this page. Always happy to help. And uh, good luck.